Hi Roots, today's uh, scripture reading is Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 to 19. It's Jesus cleanses the temple. And Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. When the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. And they said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read, Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies you have prepared praise? And leaving them, he went out of the city to Bethany and lodged there. In the morning, as he was returning to the city, he became hungry, and seeing a fig tree by the wayside, he went to it and found nothing on it, but only leaves. And he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again. And the fig tree withered at once. Uh, today's scripture tells us about uh, for sure a sure story we all know of uh, Jesus driving business out of uh, his house, the temple. I think from this, uh, we, we can see how important uh, church is to Jesus and to God. Uh, that uh, Jesus says himself that his, his house, our church, uh, should be a house of prayer. Um, so I think today's uh, message convicts me to think about my motivations and my reasons or attending church every Sunday? Is it for uh, self gain, for me to go do something good in my week? Or is it really to go before God uh, in repentance and in prayer? I think uh, during this time we all realize how important church was in our lives, uh, how good it was in our lives, and I think. We should take this time to pray uh, because I think Jesus promises that uh, when we pray, he is with us. And uh, when he is with us, uh, we have hope. So I'll close us today uh, by praying for us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for your word today. Lord, I thank you that throughout this pandemic and crisis that you are with us, uh, that you are for us, and that you are watching over us. Lord, I pray for our students. I pray that you would be with them as they are stuck at home. I pray that you would be with them in your spirit, that this time would uh, really be a chance to grow closer in relationship with you and with our families. Lord, again, I thank you for your unending love, your grace and your mercy. I pray for those affected by the coronavirus, that you would be with them in health and security, and I pray that during this week leading up to your crucifixion, uh, sacrifice, and resurrection, uh, that we would be able to focus uh, by using this time that we have now on your uh, grace and on your love for us. Lord, we praise you. We thank you for our, our salvation. In Jesus Christ's name I pray.
Amen.